Hey guys, Charles Shark Reviews here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Tarantulas. So, here he is in his obviously tarantula mode. I mean, his name is literally Tarantula, but then <coughs> add an S to an N, and there you go, Tarantulas. <laughs> um, yeah, so, anyways, here he is in his alt mode, of course. Um,. For those who don't know, uh, I don't think actually I don't think I've ever said it on the channel before, uh, right here. But Tarantulas is one of my favorite Predacons because I mean, of how like uh, you know cynical he is and stuff, he just kind of always figures out he's 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 like a mad scientist, like the mad scientist of the Predacons. He always tries to kind of prove himself, or sort. I mean, but not in, in an obvious way, and like Starscream or you know to a less extent Pterosaur. Um, but, you know, he, he still kind of proved that, you know, he could lead. Um, but yeah. Anyways, um, and he was always kind of on his own. That's why it was like, he wasn't just, like, early, like when, like, the show first, like, just first started, and, you know, he was kind of with the other pregnants, but then, like, uh, a couple of us was, like, into it, then he just kind of went on his own, spent a lot of time in his lair and stuff. I thought that was really cool, but... Yeah, anyways, so the fact, you know, so when they announced him, uh, a figure of him in Legacy, I was, uh, quite, uh, quite, um, you know, excited. Because I knew it was happening since, obviously, you know, there was listings, and before that, you know, um, you know, with Kingdom, like, they didn't have, uh, Tarantulas or Predacon Inferno in it. Uh, I mean, they had Inferno, but it was the G1 Autobot one, not the Beast Wars Predacon one. But, you know, and we are getting that one in... Legacy. Uh, I think it's popping up right now. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Anyways, so you know, let's take a look at Tarantulas in the meantime. And, you know, I uh, have this guy for, I think, about a month or two, but I just haven't gotten to reviewing him because either I've been uh, making other reviews or busy with life. <laughs> so, yeah, but now got finally got the opportunity to make the reviews. So, yeah. Anyways, here he is in his alt mode. And again, looks very, very creepy but at the same time cool and yeah you got this nice kind of glossy yellow paint here on you know back here and even for the claws um obviously those will be the claws in the uh robot mode the hands i should say but yeah and under here pretty nice and clean and for those who are wondering this is not i repeat not a retool whatsoever of black arachnia it kind of looked like it'd be but it isn't uh, it's its own mold, mold, which is good because, I mean, uh, honestly, I think this mold is better than the Black Arachne one. I mean, I like, I, that one was good, but it's like, I feel like this is, like, more sturdy, I should say, because with the spider legs on those, they kind of popped off a bit easily, and, you know, just, you know, it was, it was a bit more fiddly, but I still like the figure, but this, this is a lot, like, you know, the spider legs on this have not really popped off on me, I mean, maybe once or twice, but that was kind of, more because you know I was messing around and oh whoops that accidentally happened, but you know it, it wasn't like oh great here we go again because as you can see like the things holding it are a bit more sturdier like bigger than you know black arachnids I'll show that off in a bit when we do the comparisons but yeah yeah anyways uh yeah that's pretty much it for this or wait I think this wait I'm not sure if I did this right right now I did it right <laughs> just making sure because I saw that moved up so it's like hey wait a minute. Um, but yeah. But anyways, so for the articulation, it's just the spire legs on the ball joints. It's kind of moving in and out, you know. And that's kind of it. <laughs> to be expected with, like, a giant spire like this. So, yeah, but anyways, now for the, uh, we'll do, we'll just, uh, for this guy, we'll just do one comparison, and it'll be a big one. <laughs> so, for his one and only comparison, or comparison, since there's going to be multiple of these guys, we'll have him with his other fellow season one Predacons, because yeah, now we're pretty much only one away, obviously Inferno, and of course hopefully soon it should be in, because uh, I don't think I've told you guys, but I actually got the, uh, uh, yesterday the Legacy, or a couple days ago, the um, the uh, Legacy Armada Starscream, which is the wave mate of Inferno, so hopefully soon I should find him, but we'll have to see, he was probably at the target I got him from, but most likely sold out, but hey, that's alright. So, yeah, but anyways, 
but uh, here is a pterosaur here. Come on, pterosaur, stand up, pterosaur. Ah. <laughs> okay, here, it'll just kind of. <sighs> Oops, all right, whatever. He doesn't want to stand up today, so yeah. But uh, here's the waspinator. Or I haven't done the voice in months, so as it gets out, I have to remember a little bit. And finally, here is with Black Rachnia, which you can see is much smaller than Tarantulas, because, you know, she's just a black will spider. He's like a giant tarantula, and what's funny is that the original uh, Beast Wars toy of Black Rachnia was like a retool of Tarantulas, but it was just like, it's, it's like, okay, what? <laughs> It was just kind of like a recolor. It was, yeah, no, it wasn't. It didn't serve Black Rachnia justice. Not, there wasn't really a, a figure that served her justice until like the the MP one, especially. But in the main line, we never got like one that served her justice up until this very one right here. But yeah, anyways. So uh, yeah. So anyways, for the one alt mode comparison, and also we'll do the same for the robot mode. Here is the Thaw's fellow Predacons. He's the only one so far that is not from Kingdom whatsoever. He's from Legacy, but Infer also being Legacy. But that doesn't mean there's going to be anything different with the sky, like in terms of engineering. It's the Legacy and the War for Cybertron trilogy share engineering. So it's like, you know, but considering they're doing new characters, it's hard to tell, but you can obviously, if, if, if you're like me who kind of studies how these figures uh, like work and move and stuff, you can tell it's the same engineering. But. Um, but anyways, before we transform the figure, let's take a look at the packaging real quick, almost forgot. So yeah, here, uh, yeah, of course, he's the Deluxe class, Predacon Tarantula, he's got this very, very cool looking artwork here of the Tarantula. On the side here, uh, we got his uh, close-up artwork and the more further away artwork. And here on the, back, uh, on the side here, we got the Decepticon slash Predacon Melee Decepticon here. Uh, side artwork and then of course on the back we got Predacon to our ranch list. got obligatory product shots text specs if you want to read or scan the QR code for that here we go and that's pretty much it for the packaging so anyways let's get right down into the uh, uh, robot mode transformation oh yeah by the way you it does come with two accessories we'll get into those later I don't think those can really store anywhere so you know, yeah, I guess we won't show them now. My camera almost fell. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, so let's get right down to transformation. Uh, ignore, ignore that. Um, yeah, that was a that was a close one. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, so let's get right down to it. So anyways, first off, we're uh, what we're gonna wanna do here is we're gonna wanna untab the side leg sections, spider leg sections, and then move the sh robot, well what will be the robot shoulders out, and then after that you just want to kind of lift up this back, or actually no, you want to lift up the bug head there, and there you go, now you get to see his good old head, and then lower down the arm, Oop, and then this got done here, alright, and then rotate the, you have to hold this here, rotate the forearms, and then next, move out the legs, stretch them out, and then just unfold them. And then after that, uh, you just want to lift this upwards, and then rotate around the waist right here. And then after that, you just want to fold in the bug head, and then put this over. Then there's this tab here, you just want to put that in a slot. And there you go. Squeeze that together, and there you go. So. And then, and then finally you just want to lift out the bug legs so they're just kind of all sticking out. And once you got that, there you guys have Tarantulas in his robot mode. And I gotta say, this is probably one of the best Beast Wars robot modes I've seen in the main line. Like, this looks almost premium, like right here. I know, I just said it. It almost looks premium. <laughs> because of the way they did the sky's plastic and paint, like... Dude, it, it, it just—it looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. But yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So there he is. Uh, but anyways, let's take a look at the head sculpt first. That and again it is absolutely amazing. Like, if they like if this turned out really good, then I want to see how they do a transmetal tarantulas because I kind of like that design a bit more because of how cool it was. How he had like the 
like shooting shoulders and stuff or where those were. Those like where you had the bullets coming out of there. That that was really cool. But yeah, like uh, if, if if they can make that similar to how they made this, I would buy that in a heartbeat. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, there's a head sculpt there. Very pretty nice. Again with that nice glossy yellow paint. And there's some nice green, like the plastic too. It's unpainted, but well, at least this is this is painted, but still, it's just yeah, it just it's, it really pops out. I mean, uh, it, like if it doesn't pop out in here in camera, then definitely it will when you see it in person. If, if it doesn't do it in person for you, then I don't know what will. But um, because trust me, if this if this figure's paint doesn't pop out to you when you see it in human flesh with your own human flesh eyes. Uh, maybe I should have worded that a bit differently with your own actual eyes. I don't think eyes are flesh, but <laughs> anyways, so, um, yeah, if you see it with your own human eyes, then, you know, I, and if you don't think it pops out, then something must be wrong with you. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Fantastic detailing. And like I mentioned the paint, but the details as well look incredible. Yeah, but anyways, uh, for articulation, his head is on a ball joint, can move side to side, can't look up, no, it can only look down that far. Uh, the shoulders do move out that far, rotate full 90 degrees, a little bicep rotation, uh, a little forearm rotation here too, and of course the elbows do bend, waist swivel, legs can get up this far, back that far, and then out that far, and then the knees do bend, and the... Ankles do pivot, and the feet do move back and forth. So yeah, quite quite a good amount of articulation here. Like, especially for a Deluxe. Like, that's uh, kind of impressive for a Deluxe, if you ask me. But, yeah, so there's that. So yeah. Now anyways, for the accessories, he come, it does come with his uh, little chain thing right here. Like a chain gun-ish thing. I mean, it's not really a gun, but he holds it like a gun, but it's really just... Or, not a chain thing, a, a saw thing. A chain saw gun, I should say. Why did I just say a chain? I, I, forgot, I forgot the obvious part, the saw. <laughs> but yeah, um, you can put that in this hand, or either hand. Doesn't matter, but... Yeah, of course, his signature weapon... Well, I'm not sure, really sure what, what is his signature weapon, but... He does come with a his gun right here, which is like kind of... Kind of looks like a bow and arrow-ish kind of gun, so... But that was kind of cool. But anyways, yeah, I can hold that in here, and there you go. So there he is with his weapons, and yeah, looking very, very awesome right here. Oh, but he's uh, a little bit back heavy now with those giant uh, legs. But yeah, so let's make sure he's all standing up. There you go. So anyways, now for the robot mode comparisons. Here he is with... The other Predacons, so we got Megatron, Rosalator, right, I'll stop with the impressions, <laughs> um, we got Scorponok, Pterosaur, we'll have him back because his, like, ball joints for his feet are kind of loose, so, yeah, and of course, Black Arachnia, oh, yeah, yeah, was spider there. So yeah, there you go. We got the season one Predacon army almost complete. Just need to get Inferno. Looking forward to it. Because <laughs> I know all these are deluxes except except for Megatron, but Inferno will be a Voyager, so that's good. We got some uh Decepticon Voyager action now going on. And of course this is excluding any like the fossilizers and whatnot. So yeah. There you go. And there you guys have my review for the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Tarantulas. And yeah, I gotta say, this is actually uh, probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, of the uh, Kingdom slash Legacy Predacon figures so far, because it's pretty solid, the paint is great, the accuracy is there, and, you know, while it does, he only has, you know, the two accessories, like, still, it just... And the posability is also pretty, you know, pretty nice. So I gotta say, probably, uh, like, again, not a perfect figure, because, I mean, you know, it would have been nice if there was some paint for the gun. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Other than that, I don't really know. But 
I wouldn't say it's a perfect figure, but it's it's still very, very solid, though. I'd say either this or Megatron is my favorite of the Kingdom slash Legacy Predacon figures that we've gotten so far. Although Inferno may change that, because he looks very good, especially now he can open up his mouth and stuff. Uh, open and close, but yeah. Really, uh, but so uh, but so far, I'd say this guy, or maybe Megatron, but maybe prob probably this guy might be my favorite hit of the Predacons so far, from, at least in terms of figures, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so anyways, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more, and comment down below what you guys think of this figure. So, anyways, guys, as always, till all are one.